Are you truly operating out of your main character energy? Or are you just letting the day and life just take you wherever it wants to take you and you feel like you're out of control? Let's talk about it. Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Hollywood Bound Actor Podcast. It's Christine Horn, the book and magnet, your girl, your mentor, your cheerleader, and I'm so excited to spend this time with you yet again. So I've been thinking about main character energy, and I know this is a very popular term, not just within the acting artist community. I've been hearing it a lot in like the life coaching community and just the um, being super delusional community and <laughs> TikTok, and it's just kind of a talking topic. But in the terms of what we're doing as creatives, I was really thinking about it. And this really operates, this comes from operating from where you desire to be now. And that's really the point of today's podcast and I wanna talk about it. You know, a lot of times we have desires, goals, dreams, right? We have the big vision for our career, but we're not always operating from the place we desire to be. And here's what I mean. So let's just say your dream is to be a series regular on a hit TV show, right? But nothing you're doing currently is getting you any closer to that outside of possibly waiting, hoping that your agent calls you, hoping that you get an audition, hoping that a show is written for you, hoping that you end up booking the role, hoping that you film the role, hoping that the show stays on the air, hoping that it's a success, right? Like there's all these things that are outside of us, all these outside factors. And then like, it's this kind of thing of once we get the thing, then we think we'll be ready. And I want to challenge you and myself to continue to operate from where you desire to be now. What does that look like? So if you are someone who says, I'm just going to take acting out of it. Let's just say you are someone who's like, you know what? I see myself having a six pack. I can see my six pack abs. I see the six pack abs. Okay. Well, what are you doing every day to get the six pack abs? Like, uh, are you working out? Are you, have you changed your diet? Are you getting that cardio in? Um, like what are you doing outside of only seeing the vision to actually make it come to pass? How does someone who has six pack abs operate? How does someone who has six pack abs, how do they regulate their day, their diet, their self-control, their willpower, right? And so I think of it the same, in the same way as we think about our career. And so it made me think, okay, well, how can we do this? How can I offer a, a tip, a suggestion for, for us today on how we can really operate from where we desire to be? So first and foremost, Let's just take a moment to think about where we desire to be. Now, you don't have to go five years from now. You can go like six months from now. It can, it can be 30 days from now. Where do you desire to be? What do you desire to have? What do you, what do you desire to do? Who, do? who are you becoming, right? Get a vision of that first, right? Like get a vision of what that life, that version of life looks like for you. And have it, see it clearly. And you may already have this, which is probably the easy part, just seeing it. But then there's that disconnect of how is it actually going to happen? When will it happen? All the things that get us frustrated. But let's put that to the side for a moment. Just hold tight to the vision. And if you're watching the podcast on YouTube, well, you see this new wig, honey. I got a new wig. She's added to the collection. It's giving little Bob energy. If you want to know what I ever looked like in 10th grade, 11th grade, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> pressed hair. No, I had perm at that time. Bangs. Yes, this is me. Um, so if you're listening to the podcast, you may want to come over and <laughs> see what's going on. Um, but so you have the vision, right? Now, this is where the main character energy comes into that I've in really enjoyed playing around with this idea. Um, imagine that you are on your own reality show. Forget how you feel about reality shows right now, but just pretend that you are on one. And every day, just like with reality shows, the camera crew is scheduled to come at a certain time. There's one hair that is like just annoying me. The camera crew is coming. I feel this hair. You, you, ladies, you know, when we wear these wigs, 
with his one little hair. <laughs> okay. Okay. Listen, y'all know what it is. There we go. That's better. Um, so imagine that there is a camera crew that's coming to your house every day, 8 a.m. in the morning. No matter what, they're going to be there, right? What happens now differently when the camera crew arrives versus what you're doing now? Right? So think about this. For real. And I'm not just talking about, oh, do I put my makeup on or not before the camera crew arrives? No. Like if you knew the world was watching, if you were in your own version of the Truman Show, how would that change or affect the things that you do on a daily basis? Right? Because let's say like how well your show does depends on how you know, successful you end up being or how long you're, you know, how many more opportunities happen for you. So this is pressure. Like, let's just play pretend this is actual pressure, right? This is a show. The show has to do good. And the show is like a competition show. Maybe it's like a competition reality show. And in this competition, you have said, I am um, going to be a series regular on a hit medical drama, right? Or I'm going to be a series regular on an, in an action like a thriller, or I'm going to be the star of a, an action movie. Okay. I want to do a Marvel movie. Okay, great. So when the camera crew arrives, how does your day go? And so here's some things I want you to think about. Like if you're someone who wants to do X, what does that look like for your life? How do you, what time do you wake up? What is your morning routine? Uh, what do you eat for breakfast? Do you do intermittent fasting? Do you juice? Do you drink smoothies? Do you have a big hearty breakfast because you're going to go work it out in the gym? What does your day look like? So you might have, you know, other jobs and things like that. No problem. But how are you actually preparing for that which you say you desire? So if you want to be an action star, are you taking uh, stunt classes in the evenings? Are you learning stunts online? I don't know. Can you do that? <laughs> right. Are you if you're preparing for this? For this, uh, you know, are you in scene study class? Are you in a class to create uh, deep characters? Are you, do you have a private coach? Like what are you, what are the things? How does a series regular act? How does a series regular prepare every single day? I'll tell you, you know, just from my own insight from, you know, being a series regular and having 14, 16 hour days, sometimes longer, there is a stamina that has to get built within you. There has to be discipline that happens that you already come to the project with. And this doesn't matter. This doesn't matter if you're on location or not. Like just the mere fact that your day gets hijacked in the most beautiful way by work now means what's happening in the rest of your life. How do you balance all of that out? So coming up with these different types of regimens, habits, really is important now, even if you're going to your nine to five or your five to 10, even if you're, you're taking care of the kids and cooking dinner, but you still have this vision for your life. I'm just looking at my notes here. I want you to, oh, this is so good. I want you to remember within creating this main character energy, you have to remember that you are the hero in this hero's journey, right? As actors, we are used to reading scripts and hearing about the hero's journey. And we have the beginning, middle, end, right? We, we go on this epic adventure with the hero, right? And see what happens. And they go through trials and tribulations and all the things that we understand, right? But it's because they are headed toward this goal, the vision. And they let nothing stop them from getting to what they want. Now, at the end of the movie or the TV show, they may get what they want or they may get what they need. But the point is that they never stop going for it, even in the midst of trial and, er trial and error, even in the midst of turbula turbulent turbulation, right? Trials and tribulations. That's the word. I'm thinking about, I need to get on the airplane. Turbulation. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I'm just looking at my notes. I guess the, the biggest question I want you to think about today as we go into this new week is what would you change about yourself, your habits, your, your life, if you knew everyone was watching. And what's interesting about this, for those of us, I say us, those of you all uh, with, with kids, like you have somebody watching, right? You have somebody who is picking up everything that you're doing. They're sponges. So just some food for thought today. If you say you're ready to be this series regular, if you say you're ready to do an action film, if, you're, if you say all these things, 
Just take a look at your life, take a look at your habits and stop letting the day happen to you. Even in the midst of having responsibilities and bills and work and all these things, there's still space for you to carve out an hour a day, putting the phone down for social media and working toward the thing that you say you want to. And that, that can happen in so many ways if we get creative. Just something to think about, all right? So I want you to start operating from where you desire to be now. And remember that you are the main character. You are the leading lady, leading man, leading person in the story, in your story, your life by design. And don't forget that you're the star because I know this life and this career can make you feel like I am not the star of anything. Yes, you are. You are the leading character in your life, the most important one. And you're also the writer. <laughs> so you get to, you get to change how you, oh, I don't like that plot twist. Let's do this plot twist. Let's go here. You get to get a new page every day. At the time of this recording, um, I am teaching my May Unforgettable Characters class. If you're interested in learning about that, you can visit unforgettablecharacters.com and check it out. It is a very intimate class. I only teach up to 12 students per class. But in this four week masterclass, we work on how to create compelling, juicy, layered characters that pop off the screen. And you know I'm all about that. So make sure you check it out at unforgettablecharacters.com. My new class actually starts May 14th. And you can always, if you miss that class, you can check back to see the next time I'm doing a cohort. All right, that's it for this episode of the Hollywood Bound Actor Podcast. I will see you very soon. Make sure you tag me on Instagram at actress Christine Horn or at Hollywood Bound Actors. Screenshot this and let me know what you thought of the episode and let me know what you're going to change with your new imaginary camera crew coming to watch you every single day. All right, continue to shine bright like the star that you are. Peace.